Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I thought I'd show you guys my nighttime routine. I have literally just walked in the door. Every day for me is very different, but today I worked in retail at the makeup store from nine to five. So that was a bit rough, but it's okay. <laughs> We've got a big afternoon of stuff to do. Um, so obviously I do all different stuff every day, but today I was working and then I got to come home and do my other job, which is obviously content creating. So I thought I'd bring you guys along, show you everything that I do when I come home from a busy day. If you guys enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Let's get some stuff done. All right, so I sat at my friend's house last night. I need to unpack this bag full of stuff because I had to bring my work stuff. We went to a pool party. So there's just a lot of stuff in here and I'm very much a person when I get home from a big day and I have more stuff that I need to do, I need to make sure the upstairs area is tidy. Otherwise it's just gonna annoy me. So let's tidy up and unpack this bag. Okay, so I need to put my makeup stuff away, put this in the wash. I need to do my washing as well. Done. I'm joking, I'm actually gonna put that all the way properly because it's gonna annoy me otherwise. I literally hate washing. Like, it's just so annoying, but I've gotta go put all this washing on. And then I've also got, I also run a dress hire business where I rent out my clothes. If you guys wanna go check that page out, it's here. And I've got a few dress hires because it's top 100 weekends. So I've gotta go whop, uh, pop them all outside as well for people to come pick up. And yeah, that's the plan. Okay, washing is on. This is where all the dress hire magic happens. So I've just got down two tops from there and we've got a Skims dress going up too. So I literally just grab it off the hanger, pull it down and pop it in a closet hire bag. Your girl really has her side hustles. So obviously doing social media, I work in retail. I, what else do I do? Dance teach. I dance myself for dancing gigs. I like to keep myself busy. This one's already been steamed, so it's all good to go out. And then we just pop it in the bag and it's all ready to be sent off. Woo! And lucky last one. So I've only got one, two, three, four, five going out this afternoon, but still pretty good. I'll put out more tomorrow as well. So go run these ones out and then we'll move on to the next job. <sighs> now we can sit back and relax now that it's all tidy up here and all my little jobs are done. Um, now it's time to get on to my content that I post as soon as I get home from work. It's around 6 p.m. I always try and aim for like 6 p.m. because that's on my insights when it says you guys are most active. Um, so I like to get my content out when you guys are all online, obviously. Um, and I feel like it's just a good time for me. I've done all my stuff and yeah. I like to have a lot of my content pre-recorded so I'll just go through my drafts and pick which one I want to post or if I have a campaign or something that day, I'll obviously already have that pre pre-drafted is that the word yeah pre-drafted and ready to go um and then i literally just have to hit post what do i caption this one i adapted this wrong but hey it's like a little princess polly um outfit so i'm gonna post that as a tiktok boom so i have to wait for that to upload then i need to go on instagram reply to some direct messages emails all that kind of boring stuff okay so i also decided to post another tiktok it's a chubba chubs and like a haul video um i've just edited that all together and post now it's time for boring emails. Normally I do this on my computer, but I honestly just can't bother getting it out. So we're just gonna go through on my phone and reply to some boring emails. But no, nah, they're actually not boring. There's lots of exciting stuff in there. So I just need to get it done. But this will take probably a hot minute. Then we are gonna do my Pilates exercises because I've been struggling with a bit of a back injury. I finally overcome it from doing my exercises so regularly and building up strength. So I'll film you guys. I'll film you guys. I will film me doing my exercises for you guys to watch. Doing that. Anyway, now it's time to go shower and take this makeup off. 
Oh, also, so normally I would have like an activity, so like silks or like dance or Pilates or something, but it's a Friday today, so I don't have anything on on Fridays, which is nice because I come home from work, do my routine and go to bed early. So that's why I'm just doing normal stuff this afternoon, which is actually quite nice. Okay, so for shower, I need to pick out some PJs. This is the best part of my day because I own every single pair of Peter Alexander pajamas, basically. So we're just gonna go for these bad boys because they're the newest ones that I got. They're the strawberry shortcake ones. Like, sorry, these are the cutest things ever. So got my PJs. It's not hair washing day because I'm going to dancing tomorrow. So that's just, why would I bother washing it when I'm just gonna sweat so much tomorrow? So I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow's job. Grab some pajamas and all my cleanser and all that's downstairs, so let's go. Welcome to the bathroom. All right, it's time to take this face off, take my jewelry off. This is probably one of the best parts of the day, just taking off. I hate the feeling of wearing makeup. That's why I don't really wear a lot. Like I'm going to work, all the girls do like full on eyeshadow and stuff. I just prefer the natural kind of glam because I just don't like the feeling of wearing makeup. Anyway, I just go on with like one of these like cloth things. Um, you literally just add water to it and you just scrub all over your face. Then I go on with my cleansing balm after. It's like the oat balm cleansing thing from Sephora. It's so good, I literally love it. Also guys, it's literally like 7.15 and it's still this light outside. How crazy is that? It's dark so late now, but I literally love it. It's so nice. It feels like you've got way more of the day. Like when I get home from work, I'm like, it motivates me to do the stuff that I need to do. Where if I get home from work and it's already dark, I'm like, nah, I'm going straight to bed, so. Okay, so now that most of my makeup is removed, we go on with this bad boy, just a little bit. And we rub it all into our skin. And it feels so good. And the forehead too, of course. And then I have my shower and then I do the rest of my skincare after my shower because I don't know, that's just what I like to do. And now the skin is all clean. It's gonna pat dry with a flannel. And then it's time to shower finally. On a hair washing day, I'd use these bad boys. But today, because it's not hair washing day, I was gonna go on with some body wash and then we'll moisturize after, of course. Avoiding to get the hair wet. <laughs> now I'm going in with my Sunday Very Vanilla Body Wash. It's like a whipped one too, it's pretty cool. Looks like whipped cream, look. How cool is that? Towels on and we're all good. Okay, so we're in our PJs and being the basic bitch that I am, going in with the Brazilian Bum Bum by Sol de Niro Body Cream. Just gonna pop some of that on my elbows, they get really dry and just anywhere else I really want it, on my neck, collarbones, chest. Probably should have done this before, I put pajamas on, but you know, it's all right, we'll make it work. Anyone else put the moisturizer on like this? Then this stuff too, of course, in my hair. Oh my God, is it gonna spray? My hair, chest. I don't know why I do it there, I literally just put it everywhere. All right, it's skincare time. I'm just at my little vanity. So it looks like a little light up and I always keep my skincare in that little beauty fridge just there. Okay, hopefully this lighting isn't too tragic. Anyways, obviously I cleansed before I got in the shower and now I'm gonna tone with this fresh rose deep hydration uh, toner. I actually just put it on my hand and then just pat it into my skin. You're definitely supposed to put it on a um, like a little cotton rub, but who has time for that? Not me. Always let each product dry in between. And then I go on with the Eat Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines uh, serum and this has got hyaluronic acid peptide and b5 in it um i love this one it literally gets rid of all my little lines i get really bad like crease lines on my forehead and it works wonders for me so i just put three drops on my face and then i just put it into my skin it feels so nice so many people laugh at me but i literally like whack it into my forehead because that's how you get it into those lines Next up, taking the Olay Hendrickson's Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is so good. I literally noticed dif like a difference straight away once I put it on. It brightens instantly. So I just put it under with my ring finger and just tap. Chef's kiss. We love her. To lock all that in, I'm going in with the Biosance Omega Repair Cream. This stuff is also a godsend. I literally love it. I've got really dry skin, fun fact. And it just does the job for me. And I put a little bit... Just there as well. And then we rub in. Going in with the Lash Rescue Eyelash Serum. This, this, this stuff, nah. When I say I have a favorite product, this is definitely it because this is how I got my lashes looking so long. Um, I had very short, blonde, stubby lashes and this is just 
this has just changed the game for me. I use it every single night religiously. Um, consistency is key with this product. I also have a cheeky discount code for you guys. It's FAITH15 in capitals if you want to save some money. It's the Lash Rescue Lash Serum. So good. And the lucky last step, I'm just going in with some of this Laneige sleeping mask in vanilla. I don't really know if this stuff works, like, hydration-wise for the lips, but it looks pretty, so we're going to put it on. Even though I'm about to go eat dinner, we're still going to put it on because we want to look cute. And that's my skincare routine all done. Let's go have some dinner because I am absolutely starving. My baby sisters are asleep, but dinner is ready. My mum is literally a legend. Pasta, broccoli pasta, yum, it looks so good. So I'm just gonna chuck that in the microwave and then bon appetit. Dinner is served, it looks absolutely delicious. Mmm, oh, oh, 10 out of 10. Dinner is good, Mum. Great. She just walked out. I was said to I've just finished dinner and I've come to my theatre room because I recently just got this massage chair. How cool is this? And oh my god, it's amazing. It has like a touchscreen iPad and stuff. And you sit in it and it reclines back, and it's honestly just the best thing ever. So I thought I want to have a little massage to help soothe the back. It even has like little foot rollers and stuff, and it's honestly just it's just the best thing ever. So I'm gonna do a manual massage. All right, we're reclining back. Guys, I'm sorry, but you need one of these chairs. I'm just, I'm obsessed, it's so good. And like, before you go to bed, you sleep so good because like, you just, your muscles are all so relaxed. It's living. Time to force. for the best part of the day, taking the hair out and getting into bed. After having it up all day, it's actually the best part of my day, brushing it out. Now I'm just gonna go on with some of this Lano Lips. It's like the lip ointment. For bed, I reckon it's just so much better than Laneige. Like it actually does something. It's so nice, I'm just gonna put that all over. Lighting the candle, bed, 9.30 p.m. Like, sorry, what more could you want? That's, that's the life, really. Um, normally I am actually a bit of a late bird to go to bed, but tomorrow I've got a massive day, so I'm literally just going to get into bed, maybe pop a movie on, and just catch up on the socials, edit some content, and then bloody pass out and go to sleep. Let's pop a movie on. Oh, this is the life. My bed is so comfortable. Like, my bed, honestly, no one else's bed could beat it. Like, it's a king size. It's just so comfortable. You know how everyone says their own bed's the best? Like, my bed is the best. Like, it actually is. And now it's time to catch up on some editing. Got lots of TikToks to go through and catch up on the socials a little bit. Got the fan going. I'm going to pop some YouTube on the TV. I just need to set my alarm, put my phone on charge, and go to sleep. I'm so excited. Good night, everyone. So that brings us to the end of this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Follow me on all my socials here. I hope you enjoyed my nighttime routine. Comment down below some more video ideas. I'll be back every single Sunday. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.